In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use our Blender add-on. This add-on allows you to use Blender Grid from inside of Blender. So here I am in Blender 4.1 with the Blender 4.1 splash file that you can download from the Blender demo files. And I'm going to install the add-on from scratch by going to the Blender preferences, go to add-ons, install, then locate your blendergrid.zip file. You can then select it and install it. That's easy enough. Now we can enable the add-on and open the little panel here. This allows us to log in with our account. If you don't have an account yet, you do need one in order to use the add-on, but it's pretty simple. You can just hit register or go to blendergrid.com slash register to uh, create a new account with an email and password. Once you have that, you can log in. And you have to type your password correctly. Otherwise, it doesn't work. There we go. Uh, now you're logged in. You um, you might already see a little panel over here, but let's fo keep focusing on this. We have three options here. Um, I'm going to enable the first one, auto save. This will automatically save the blend file before rendering, which is useful because if you don't do that, you um, and you hit render for the add-on, the add-on has to upload your blend file. So then it will load. Then it will show a little pop-up saying you need to save your blend file first if there were any changes made. Um, but this will just automatically take care of that. And um, the rest is fine for now for this demonstration. So now we can exit the Blender preferences, go back to the regular Blender window. And inside of the render panel, all the way at the bottom, uh, in my case, it's almost at the bottom, it's uh, you see a little Blender Grid panel here. And I already have one project loaded up, uh, which automatically got loaded by logging in. Um, but to create a new project, you can also go to render, and then we have a new Blender Grid option here, and we can render a single image. And in this case, there is no animation going on, so it doesn't make sense to render an animation, because if you render an animation, it will render the whole frame range. Uh, so 600 frames in this case. Uh, for the for this example, I'm just going to select Blender Grid Render Image. And that will create a new Blender Grid project from this Blend file. And the add-on will upload any external files that this Blend file relies on. And the upload progress is shown over here. And once it hits 100%, it will immediately start calculating the price and the name will be shown here, which is the same name, which might be a little bit confusing. Um, so I'm just going to remove this first one. So now this is the this is the project that we just uploaded and it starts calculating the price. And that is the main purpose of the add on. It is making the uploading faster and easier um, and easier, especially if you rely on multiple files that need to be uploaded. The add on is supposed to be smart enough to figure out which files need to be uploaded and then upload them. And it's also a little bit faster than uploading through the website. So then once you've got it uploaded, you can leave Blender if you want and go back to Blender Grid to your projects page where you can see the project that you just uploaded if you're logged in. It will all sync up and currently it's showing uh, calculating the price which we have to wait on for a bit. Um, so you could only use the add-on for uploading if that is the problem you're trying to solve and then from there you can uh, move to the website and take the project from there, start rendering from there and download the results from there. But another thing that the add-on makes easier is downloading. And especially if you, again, uh, are working with multiple files, which uh, in this case, we're only rendering one image. So that will end up 
with one image file and that's not very hard to download. But if you're rendering an animation, it's very useful to use the add-on because let's say you're rendering the animation over the course of a few hours, but the first few minutes, the first frames are already rendered. And if you, um, there is an option, which I will show you in a bit once we start rendering, where you can make the add-on automatically download the rendered frames while the render is going, while the render is still in progress. And um, that can just speed up your workflow a little bit. But um, let's wait for the price calculation to be done and then I will move on to the next step. And as you can see, we have a little pop-up saying price calculation complete and the Blender Grid panel has changed and updated and it shows a little bit more stuff right now. Um, it shows some of the settings and then it shows three settings that we can still change. Um, we did the price calculation at a, or we initiated the price calculation at a resolution percentage of 50%, 256 samples and um, these two settings we can still nudge around um, if we want to update the price. Um, and we can also look at this at the website and we have those same three settings that we can change. Um, so let's say we change the resolution percentage. Uh, that will update the price and it will update everything and it should also update the website and as you can see uh, the resolution percentage at the website is also 40% and uh, so that that all syncs up nicely um, let's set it back to 50% and this is the auto download option I was talking about earlier if you check this and you're rendering an animation um, for still frame also works but it's it's less uh, useful for an animation, it will start downloading the frames once they're rendered, even if the total render is still in progress. Um, so let's check that. And then you might ask, where does it save these files? It saves them at the same place where Blender would normally save them uh, in your output settings, where you can set the file format and everything. And uh, it, it's going to save them in a folder called frames. Uh, next to the blend file. So let's do that. And then um, rendering, you could go ahead and start rendering from the website if you uh, need to pay with a credit card. But if you have render credit, it's here, it shows your render credit balance. And if you have enough in your balance, you can start rendering and initiate the, the, render, uh, the render from within Blender. Uh, so let's do that now. And now the uh, status updates to rendering and this will start rendering our frame and once the frame is rendered it will automatically download it into this frames folder so let's wait for that to finish and if we take a look at the blend file we can see um, there's supposed to be a frames directory here but that doesn't exist it's the one uh, this output folder uh, that's where all the frames will be downloaded into, but this folder itself doesn't exist. And that's not a problem. Uh, the add-on will automatically create this directory if necessary, and then start to download all the frames into there. In this case, it's only going to be one frame. Um, but if we start to see the, the render progress um, jump up to 100%, we will see this frame uh, directory will be created. And as you can see, the frames directory has been created. And if you look inside, we have uh, frame1.tiff, which is the frame that we wanted to render. And it's all looking good. The render um, status has changed to 100%. Um, it still says rendering because we are finalizing the render and it will jump to completed soon. If you look at the website, um, we're also at 100%. We can see the same TIFF file over here, 
looking good. And uh, this will jump over to finished soon. And uh, that's how you use the Blender add-on.